Kim here, Director of Communications for the Arizona Senate Republicans, and joining me today is Senator Vince Leach from District 11. Top of mind for everyone is inflation. We're seeing record inflation right now, affecting everything from gas to food to rent. And uh, we have some new numbers that came out. Yeah, that's right, Kim. The CBS poll uh, came out, uh, let me see, yesterday. and and. and it's numbers that are borne out when you go to the grocery store, you go to the gas pump, everybody's talking about it. But 76% of the people uh, surveyed, uh, this was uh, what, uh, April 5th through the 8th, mm -hmm. so it's really current. 76%, let's say, inflation and the economy are top, top issues. On a personal note, and we all know this, and I don't have to tell the people watching, when you go to the grocery store, and you see something that was $5 and now is $8 and then $9. Or when you go to the gas pump, I do a lot of driving in, the, in this job. And you know, you started at 335 and then it was 365 and then it hit the $4 mark. Uh, and here in the Valley, uh, you're paying even more. It's not uncommon to see some $5 gas. It's, it's a concern. It's a concern to the point uh, for um, the consumers that they're starting to change their habits in what they're doing. There may not be a vacation. There may not be the ball tickets to the Diamondbacks. There may be uh, just not that, that extra fun thing. It may not be that, uh, that meal out, that extra meal out, that extra birthday present. This is a huge consideration uh, and it's a problem. It's a problem. A recent study just came out saying that the average American family is anticipated to have to spend an additional $5,000 this year just to cover the inflation. And then just last month in the state of Arizona, we set a record high for gas prices, four sixty nine dollars for the average gallon of unleaded gasoline. That's a new record. This is all under President Biden's administration. Exactly. Uh, you can't manufacture money when you're in a, a home of four, a home of two, or whatever. It takes more money to do everything. Uh, we're a family of two now that we are empty nesters, uh, and I've seen our average uh, uh, grocery bill go from 80 to 110 to 120. Uh, it just, it's just jumping. And so what do we do about yeah. it? We can't control uh, President Biden's outrageous spending, but we can do something here in Arizona. Yeah, and I can't control the gas price. Uh, I'd like him to start uh, putting the pipeline back together yeah. and making us energy independent. I can't control the, the price of milk. I can't control the price of, of wheat that goes into bread or vegetables and the cost of harvesting. But what we can do is we can give money back to the taxpayers. Uh, last year we passed a huge tax reduction bill uh, going to a flat tax of two and a half percent. Unfortunately, the education community uh, didn't like that and they got their signatures and it's going to be on the ballot. We have uh, something in process that we can go ahead and pass that again and get people to a two and a half percent tax rate over a little bit of time. Put that in perspective, we're going to have over a billion dollars, way over a billion dollars in surplus this year. If you look out, we get in that five billion dollar surplus range. Government was never designed to be a profit center. We're charging you and all the people out there, we're charging you too much. We're taking too much of your money and, and that, that there aren't government uses to put it to use. Let's give it back to the taxpayer. Let's let them fight this terrible inflation that's going on, the cost of goods going up, buying a tank of gas. A tank of gas used to cost $30, $30 a gas. Mine's a, a Honda. It cost me $50, $55. That's real money. What alarms me is why anyone would be against giving back money that is rightfully the taxpayers when they need it most as well. Well, that's that's the question. We're short one, maybe two votes uh, here in the Senate of getting that through. And uh, we're talking diligently with those members and that member to say this, the, the poll is showing it. People need that money back. Let's go. Let's put that bill up on the board. Let's get the 16 votes here. I'm told that the House has the votes.
to pass it, get it on up to the governor, and give relief to the taxpayers of the state of Arizona. Well, we appreciate you giving us some transparency in what's happening behind the scenes with this tax cut. So thank you for shedding light on that. You bet. All right, Senator Vince Leach from District 11.